and he behoves to uh, find those who worship him. So let's get it right. So, you know, when you begin to understand who you're sp supposed to serve and who you're supposed to seek, then your miracles and your prayers will begin to receive answers, you know. But God looks at these people that are wrapped up in demonic doctrines of devils, and when they pray, God looks at them like they're praying to a, a tree because they're not asking him because, see, they're, they're enduring doctrines of devils. They don't even know who he is. If you was to ask people who God is and what is his name, you know what they would say? They would say God. You know what I mean? So some of them would tell you that Jesus is the Father. And see, we know that is not true. Jesus is the Father's Son. But see, if those wicked doctrines of devils can continue to consume you and be taught to you by wolves in sheep's clothing, they can get you uh, praying to a source that is not a source. And what happens is you get discouraged because you don't receive answers, you know, to your prayers. So you've got to learn who the Father is. And you've got to understand he has a name. And he has his own separate, uh, you know, presence, his own separate body. So, and when you'll learn that, when you pray, you're supposed to pray to uh, Yahweh the Father in the name of the Son and pray in the Spirit. And the Spirit means truth, you know, and with your attitude, you know. Pray with the good attitude. So, you know, and when you will do that, guess what? You're going to receive some answers to your prayers. So, God's name is Yahweh. And we can look at that in Genesis 2-4. Okay, and we're going to read it in the Hebrew. And here's what it says. In Hebrew, reads from right to left. These, the generations, the heavens and the earth, when they were created in the day, that Yahweh, God, made the earth and the heaven. So, listen, his name is Yahweh. So, you know, so when you pray, you know, don't just say God, you know, because, you know, in your mind, you know, what God are you talking about? Are you calling, uh, who are you calling God? He has a name. So you say Yahweh, Father, in the name of your only begotten Son. You know, I ask you for your help, and you pray with a boldness and in your, you know, out of your belly, you know. And you'll be surprised of, you know, the answers that you will receive. So, hallelujah. And the correct interpretation of the Bible is the kingdom. See, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. 
So it's not your man-made traditions, and it's not your man-made uh, denomination, you know. People that label their self, you know, you watch them over time, and God is removing his anointing from their life, you know, and their church and everything begins to not have and not receive uh, miracles. So, you know, the time for nonsense and watered-down messages, you know, it's coming to an end. You know, you're not going to be able to survive in these terrible times with all these things that are going on on the earth if you're not willing to seek the Scripture for truth. You know, you need to straighten up. Oh, you need to straighten up. Because if you don't, you know, you're going to have a lot of problems. You know, I can sit back and I can think about some of the answers that I received to my prayers when I prayed. You know, I remember there was a time I was living in this old uh, trailer house that I was making payments on. I was buying it. And uh, my truck, it was having a lot of problems. And uh, I was having to... Uh, borrow water from the neighbors next door because my water was cut off. And you know, I was having to uh, use their Wi-Fi because I didn't have any uh, internet service. And I was down to, you know, my last can of uh, beans. I didn't have uh, no food and I had very little help from my family that claims to be a Christian. But anyway, and I had a load of uh, blacktop asphalt on my old dump truck, and it was, oh, Lord help us, it was it was breaking down a lot. And uh, I was just financially strapped. No jobs were calling, you know, and I had a, load on there and it was you know already going bad it wasn't you know completely bad but it was almost there you know it's going to be a difficult thing to shovel that hard load but anyway and i'll never forget i woke up early in the morning and the lord he spoke to me and he said, son, I want you to get up and I want you to go to the local water burger and I want you to get you something to eat. And then I'll tell you what to do after that. And, you know, I didn't have very much money. You know, I had enough gas to run around for a few hours and after that I was going to be out of fuel. You know, back then gas was expensive. You know, it was you know, a lot like now, you know, three fifty, four dollars a gallon. And it was hot. We was having a uh dry spell. You know, the lake was at a record level low. <laughs> you know, it was a tough time. And like I said, I wasn't getting very much help from my family at all. So but anyway, I listened to the Lord, and I got up, and I went down there to the water burger, and uh, I pulled in the parking lot, and I got me a, a number two and a big uh, diet uh, soda, and I listened to God. He told me to pull off to the side of the parking lot and park long ways, take up a few parking spots. Park right out there by the entrance, uh, the exit. And, uh, but anyway, and it wasn't long after that, a guy pulled up in a little S10 by the name of Ray. 
And Ray invited me to come down to his house and to give him an estimate on his driveway. And that driveway turned out to be a $5,000 pavement job. The guy gave me a deposit. I went and bought the material and done the job. I went from being broke, busted, and disgusted to having a pocket full of hundreds. Because God, he helped me. And he'll help you today if you'll serve him. And I can tell you story after story after story 